quizzes. Buy the search. Start quiz. Now you should be getting instructions up on your screen. <clears throat> there we go. Four rounds, 20 questions. Called Born This Day. Uh, you will get, now get five pictures of people who were born on July the 2nd and you just have to name them. Very simple. As is the first question. He was born this day on July the 2nd. But who is he? Vicky Flanagan, John Bishop, Paddy McGuinness or Peter Kay. There you go. Simple. Alf Roberts. <laughs> I was going down the simpler route. There is a couple of hard questions in this. Um, yeah. It's not very taxing on the brain. The couple you're going to have to guess at later on. I just wanted to ease you in easily. But two people. It's doing that thing where it doesn't let me click. Either refresh or, or try on the phone. Yeah, Mr. Hyde and Ionic Arm. <clears throat> They've got a head start on you. That's that's probably better for the best. <laughs> Next one. Is this person? Okay. This person was born today. Jamie Presley, Jamie King, Margot Robbie, or Samara Weaving. This person was born on this day. Who are they? Jimmy Presley, Jimmy King, Margot Robbie, or Samara Weaving. They are now... The answer is that happened to me on trackers. It is Margot Robin. Out of three. As we go on to the next one. This person <clears throat> was born on this day. Who are they? Jewel, Marion Ravon, Vanessa Carlton, or Michelle Branch? This person was born on this day. Who are they? Jewel, Marion Ravon, Vanessa Carlton, or Michelle Branch? They are now, this person is now 38. That's any clue? Fear or not? I don't know if that's supposed to be a tie on her. I'm not entirely sure. The black thing is on her. The answer is... Ooh, it's Michelle Brunch. Uh, not Jewel, because Jewel's got blonde hair. One of you went for Michelle Brunch. I'm wondering if that was... Next person of who was born this year, not this year, born in this day, this person. Not many points. So, is this Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, Ashley Hudgens, or Jennifer Tisdale? Technically speaking. This person is now 36 years old. Born in 1985. That person is... There's... 
Ashley Tisdale. One of you went for Ashley Tisdale. I wonder if that's Lurchy. <laughs> Ashley Tisdale. She's in a... Uh... Well, it wasn't you, was it? But you did go for it. All right. Ashley Tisdale. <laughs> Or off uh, High School Musical. High School Musical. You not watched High School Musical? No? Okay. And the last one. This person. Born in 1947. Which is 74. But who is it? Is it Michael Richards, Jeff Dunham, Larry David, or Jeff Garland? This person was born on this day. Who are they? Michael Richards, Jeff Dunham, Larry David, or Jeff Garland? I'll two one to it, like. And the answer is Larry David. Three out of three got that right. So we are at the end of that round. Let's look at the scores. We don't want <laughs> and the total scores at the minute, Mr. Hyde is in the lead at 67,142. Lurch is in second with 64,080. Alec Arm is third with 61,165. I forgot to change the title of that. It wasn't Popmaster, no. <laughs> I was I was ticking it as a well, placeholder. Oh, I already had that there. Yeah. No, not Pop Master of the Night. Top Pop Master will be back uh, next Thursday. This is this happened on this day in history. So, in 2019, newly rediscovered Lewis chess piece sells at auction for how much in London? Did it sell for 135,000? 735,000? 375,000 or 535,000. That piece that you see there sold for one of those amounts at auction 2019. For how much? Yeah, we do Pop Master every Thursday after Top of the Pops around 8 o'clock. Or... Um, the night is a night where I've just done an impromptu. The answer was £735,000 at auction 2019. That piece there doesn't look like much, does it? But anyway. This happened in 2005. Ten live eight concerts held around the world were organised by whom to raise awareness of poverty in 2005? Was it Phil Collins, Chris Martin, Bob Geldof or Bono? Ten live eight concerts held around the world were organised by whom to raise awareness of poverty in 2005? I have the DVD and it wasn't great. Have done that, I could have done that. That today, it was Bob Geldof. Bob Geldof, third question 
Lucky for some, it's about football. This happened on this day in 2000. So who captained France to the 2000 European Championships win? Was it Thierry Henry, Didier Deschamps, Claude McAuley or Emmanuel Petit? This happened in the year 2000, 21 years ago. <laughs> I, w I was thinking there would be people it was Didier Deschamps but you could actually show pictures of players to people who have a clue who they are, so that's why I didn't care The next question. After 3,242 performances, which musical closed at Imperial Theatre in New York City in 1972? Was it Fiddler on the Roof, West Side Story, Oklahoma, or The King and I? After 3,242 performances, which musical closed at Imperial Theatre, NYC, 1972? Fiddle on the Roof, West Side Story, Oklahoma, or The King and I? And the answer is... <clears throat> Fiddler on. And the last question of this round is about this person. Da -da 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 -da. The author of the Godfather books died in 1999. Name him. Joe DiMaggio, Philip Roth, Mario Pucci, or Joe Ross. I butchered names. Give me. And the answer is Mario Puzo. <clears throat> right, it's the end of that round. Where's are now? Perch in the lead with 138,000 and 446. Nick Arm in second with 18,5. And Mr. Hyde's in third with 75,000. One. Might be the round where uh, search or just ahead. <laughs> oh, this is going to do Pop Master again, isn't it? <clears throat> this J Lo song was number one in America. In 1999 on this day can you name it written for tonight love don't cost a thing if you had my love Jenny from the this JLo song video number one in America in 1999 on this day can you name it written for tonight love don't cost a thing if you had my love or Jenny from the block The answer is, ooh, 
if you had my love, I bet you Lurch got it right. I just need to, I just need to check. I bet you Lurch got it right. Checking. Yeah, Lurch got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> you still got it right, though. <laughs> this Pet Shop Boys song was number one in the UK in 1987 on this day. Can you name it? Art. It's a sin. West End Girls are opportunities. This Pet Shop Boys song was number one in in 1980, on this day, and you name it, part the sin, West End Girls opportunity. Answer is. <laughs> is he on tonight, though? It is. It's a sin. very quiet on July the 2nd Riverdance still held the top spot in Ireland in 1995 but who composed the music for it was it Ray Whelan, Glenn Whelan Patrick Whelan, Bill Whelan Riverdance spent 18 weeks at number one in Ireland in 1995 18 weeks Glenn Whelan. Oh, nobody went for Glenn Whelan. <laughs> it was Bill Whelan. It was Glenn Whelan. <laughs> Glenn Whelan is a footballer. This man spent two weeks at number one in 1994 in France. Good 2nd of July. Can you name him? Is it Errol Brown, Colonel Abrams, Desmond Decker or Jimmy Cliff? This man spent two weeks at number one in 1994 around July. Would have been number one this week in France. 1994. I don't know why it was number one, uh, but he was number one in 1994 with I Can See Clearly Now. It was Jimmy Cliff. Jimmy Cliff was number one in France with I Can See Clearly Now in 1994. Okay, there we go. M. Neula was a night was a fifteen hit in the UK, but reached number one in Germany on this day, nineteen eighty eight. Can you name the artist? Afra Haza, Rinat Shaham, Yasmin Levy, or Ronnie Dupani? M. Neula was a number fifteen hit in the UK, but it reached number one in Germany on this day, nineteen eighty eight. Name the artist. This is the easy. <laughs> Glad you think it is, Arch. It was Afra Heza. Um, died quite young of AIDS, if I remember rightly. 
Yes, she was number one in 1988 in Germany with uh, that song. Let's look at the scores. Yep, and lurches it way ahead with 222,303. Anik Arm with 7,698 and tied in third with 76. As we go to the final round, and the final round is What's My Age Again? I'm going to give you four people's faces, and all you have to tell me is who's the oldest? Out of the four. That's all it is. I'm going to give you four pictures of people. You just have to tell me who's the oldest out of the four. There you go. It's the Spice Girls. What I want to know is who's the oldest Spice Girl? Is it Mel C, Mel B, Jerry Halliwell, or Emma Bunton? I think Mel B and Mel C. And the answer is Gary Halliwell. Yep. He's born in 73. Uh, Mel C is born in 74. Uh, Mel, Gary Spice Mel B, I think, is born in 76. Might be the youngest one. Mel B. Baby Spice is not the youngest one. Gary Spice. 72 for Jerry. It depends. <laughs> it depends what she wants to tell you. Some places, you know, it could be 68, it could be 69. Definitely the oldest one, though. Because um, she's sometimes economical with the truth when it comes to her age. Jerry. Here we go. Brittany, Christina, Justin, and Adam. That from a TV show. Who is the oldest? Adam Levine, Brittany Spears, Justin Timberlake, or Christina Aguilera? Which one is the oldest out of these four? He's live. Well, I, I, I'll. Uh, there's only three more questions to go. Anyway, I can um, do them afterwards. I'm supposed to be on to ten. Not on early for. <laughs> Doesn't he know he's not allowed to come on to ten? The answer is Adam Levine, uh, Justin Timberlake, and Brittany. Both born in 81. Uh, uh, Christina Aguilera is born in 80. And Adam Levine is born in 79. The next one is all about these people. Top Gear alumni. Who is the oldest? Quentin Wilson. Tiff Nadell. Jeremy Clarkson or James May? Have a look. The oldest is Tiff Nadell. 
Uh, James May is the youngest, followed by Jeremy Clarkson, then Quentin Wilson, and then Tiffany Dell is 69 years old. Tiffany Dell is the uh, I believe Clarkson is 63. I think. James May is 58. Quentin Wilson's about 67. I think. Say there was something like that. Tiff is 69. Tiff Nadell is 69, yeah. So, next one. Uh. Who is the oldest? Lorraine Kelly, Nicola Sturgeon, Jeanette Cranky, or Susan Boyle? Who is the oldest? It's not Nicola Sturgeon. Nicola Sturgeon's only 50. Susan Boyle is 60. Lorraine Kelly, 61. Nick Cranky is 74. Everybody got that one right. And the last question of the quiz is about these actors. Jesus, good boy. <laughs> so, who's the oldest? Samuel L. Jackson, Sidney Poitier, Morgan Freeman, or Michael Douglas? So, it's not Samuel Jackson, for he'd be 72. It is not Michael Douglas, because he is 76. Between the two in the middle. The answer is Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier is 94. Uh, and if you think about that, that photo was taken four years ago. So, he would have been 90 there. Uh, Morgan Freeman is 83. So that is the end of the quiz. Let's look at the scores. And the winner is Lurch with 270,013. Donna Garman second with 185,604. Third, Mr. Hyde, 149,803. Rainbow Blackout in fourth with 33,308. Fizzbin in fifth with 32,541. So again, it's time for Lurch to pick a prize. Thanks very much, Nikki. Well, elegant, cool, and stylish. But then that's enough about me. Why don't you bring some light into your life with these two stylish black lamps? And then relax in your favorite seat. Put your feet up and settle back in this black leather reclining armchair with footstool. Slightly concerned here, Nikki, that our prize guy might just doze off during the show. No, he wouldn't dare. Mind you, while he takes his nap, why don't you take a look at this matching brass display unit? Ideal for storing all those porcelain cats that we all have lying around the house somewhere. Mind you, none of them look terribly healthy to me, Nikki. What about you? Yes, thank you, Nikki. Well, as we both know, it's tough being a star. And our prize guy has to do yet another interview with the press. Oh, there's no privacy in this business, not even in your own bedroom. But you can always get some light relief with these two classical bedside lamps, incorporating teas made and alarm clock radio. Oh, what about some television to relax you? Come on, let's see what's on. Ah, football. Change of channel here. Oh, this looks good. But it's familiar, Nikki. It'll come to me in a second. Yes, I remember now. Yes, it's the Muppets. <laughs>